everybody go. Ooh, ooh, here we go now. I love birthdays, especially my own. I love the presents, the cake, the spending time with friends, the presents, the birthday meals, the presents, the dodgy entertainers, the even dodgier outfits, and did I mention the presents? And this year, I'm gonna get more presents than ever, because number one, I have a new baby brother. His name's Benedict and he cries a lot. <coughs> oh, please stop, please stop. <coughs> and hey, I know he's too young to actually go out and buy a present for me himself. But Dad and Anna are bound to buy me something and say it's from him. And who am I to complain? And the second reason I'm going to get more presents this year is because this is the first ever birthday I've had a boyfriend. And I am so excited. I wonder what Russell's going to buy me. Do you think my hands are too fat to wear rings? No. Only I always thought they were. But I was out shopping with Anna and I saw this ring in Alison's accessories. And it's red and sparkly and heart-shaped. Not too small and not too chunky either. Anna said she thought it would really suit me. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Anyone would think your parents didn't feed you properly. They don't. Oh, no, come back. I'm still hungry. Hey, new pastels. I really need some more. So... Do you think I'd suit that K-size sparkly ring from Alison's accessories, then? Yeah, whatever, it'll look nice. That's what I thought. Gosh, I... Ah! Russell! <laughs> so, that was the boyfriend's present sorted. And now I just need to work on Dad and Anna about the party arrangements. Uh, no, watch his arm. Ryan, I have put his coat on before, haven't I, Sugar Plum? Yes, I have. Oh, he's so cute, aren't you, Tweety Tweety? Bye. Oh, when are you going to smile for us then, eh? Mm -hmm. My hoochie coochie poochie man. <laughs> <laughs> Why do grown ups always do that? <clears throat> he's so handsome. He looks just like his daddy, don't you, darling? No, yes. He doesn't. He looks yes. like his beautiful mummy. Don't you, matey? <laughs> yes, he does. Yes, he does. Excuse me, you guys. Do you think he needs his mittens? Hello? <laughs> um, no, I don't think it's that cold, is it? Have I just turned invisible or what? <laughs> but he may need his hat. OK, sorted. I'll organise a buzzing party here for the entire school. I'll book the noisiest band I can find. And, Dad, I'll use your credit card to buy unlimited amounts of food and drink. Thank you. Very much appreciated. That's OK. So, hang on. Party? For my birthday? Your birthday's not for ages. Duh! It's this Saturday. No. Is it? Yes. And I thought a party would be kind of cool. I don't think so, Els. Not with a new baby in the house. Right, Mark, we're going to be late. We'll talk about it tonight, yeah? I have to get Benedict to the clinic. Oh, Ellie, I wish you'd stop doing that face. Well, I wish you'd call him something else, then. I think probably a low-key birthday this year, Ellie. Just the three of us and baby Benedict, yeah? A quiet meal in or something. You have a thing. We'll see you tonight, yeah? Bye. Bye. Low-key. A quiet meal in. Do you see what I mean? I mean, I am a mid-teen with two rocking friends and a cute boyfriend, and that means I seriously don't do low-key. Parents. Waste of space. Well, mine certainly are, since Benedict came on the scene. Why did they decide on Benedict in the end? Because Anna couldn't stop eating eggs Benedict when she was pregnant. <laughs> and what Anna wants, Anna gets, apparently. Whereas these days, I get zilch. Not even a teensy, weensy, itsy, bitsy party. Uh, Ellie, you do realise you've started to speak in baby talk. Oh! Do you see how they 
you're getting to me. Look, forget it. We'll do something cool on your birthday. Don't worry. Yeah. Who needs adults? <laughs> Not me. So, what do you want to do in ice skating? Pizza. Cinema. Gig. Well? well? No. Leave it to the experts. Yeah, good idea. You two choose. What do you mean, Magda and the Dean are organising your birthday? I was really kind of hoping you'd want to spend it with me. Well, of course you're invited. Yeah, but you know, what about a bit of me and you time? I figured we might like go for a pizza or something. Sound nice. Yeah, and now you're saying I have to share you with those two. No, not necessarily. Not all day. Hey, tell you what, why don't you get together with those two and then all sort it out between you? Surprise me, yeah? And the nurse said he's a very healthy, bouncy baby boy. And our little Benedict. Ellie, do not do the face. Has gained a whole two pounds. Isn't that good? I lost two pounds today. You couldn't sub me till next allowance, could you? You aren't even remotely interested in your little brother, are you? Well, I don't quite share yours and Dad's fascination for the contents of his nappy and the colour of his puke, no. But he's cute enough, I suppose, when he's not crying. See? What did he tell you? So, about this birthday of mine. Here we go again, self, self, self. What? Your dad has already told you we can't have a party with a young baby in the house. And don't go hinting for expensive presents either, because we just haven't got the money this year. If you bothered to listen, I was going to say I'm going out with my mates on my birthday this year, so you don't need to worry. I just thought you might possibly contribute a little bit of money towards it. But hey, don't give me anything this year. I don't care. Oops. Normally, at times like these, I'd phone Nadine or Magda and have a good moan. Or I'd go round to Russell's house and get out of everyone's way. But tonight, I can't. Because my two best friends and my boyfriend are out on the town. Together. Still, shouldn't complain, I suppose. After all, they're all meeting to plan my birthday surprise. Bet they're having a great time talking about little old me and what they've got planned. <laughs> you know, this place is so elegant. Absolutely. Oh, wildly extravagant. <laughs> Can we come in? Dad, you're interrupting. We want to talk to you about your birthday. Yeah, I'm really sorry for being off with you earlier. It's OK. It's just that I've been really stressed recently, what with the baby and everything. So. Did you say stressed or obsessed? We came here to make the peace, not start another row. I'm sorry. It's OK. That's what it feels like lately. We've both been a bit preoccupied recently. Maybe we have been neglecting you a bit. So, about this party. Now, we've been thinking, and so long as you keep it on the small side, say half a dozen friends or so, we think we could cope. What do you think? Oh, thanks. That sounds great. One problem, though. Uh-oh. What? That's settled then. To Ellie. To, to Ellie. Ellie. <laughs> hey, I tell you what. Why don't you two get together with Mags, Nad, and Russell, and then you can all sort it out between you? Surprise me, yeah? So now I've got all of my favourite people in the world working on a big birthday surprise just for me. Hey guys. How did it go with Russell last night? Yeah, good. Very. <laughs> Productive. Ellie would hate doing that. How do you know? I just do. And another thing, I need a bit of me-you time with her at some point during the day. What's the me-you time? Listen, if you're not going to contribute intelligently, then I don't know why you're here. And if you're going to adopt that tone of voice, I don't know why you're here. That was the hush baby texted me. He is desperate to see me this weekend. It'll be OK if I write him on to Ellie's thing, won't it? No. No? So you've got it all sorted, then? <laughs> Not quite. Just one or two final details to sort out. Ah, oh, that's good, cos Dad and Anna want to get involved now. I thought you said they couldn't care less. Yeah, so did I. Hey, the more the merrier, don't you think? See? The more the merrier. That's not what she meant. Well, he's coming, like it or not. 